Hello and welcome to the Hooniverse. In this video I am going to be looking at the recently revealed costume and TARDIS exterior for the 13th Doctor, played by Jodie Whittaker. The costume reveal was a bit of a surprise, but a good one with an eccentric look which is made unique to the 13th Doctor. While the costume does take certain elements from other incarnations just like the previous Doctors, a few quick examples are the 11th Doctor, taking inspiration from the 2nd Doctor, with a signature bow tie. The 10th Doctor wearing trainers and wearing brainy specs, much like the 5th Doctor. And the 12th Doctor taking inspiration from the 3rd Doctor, with the original costume featuring a red lining. So in this video I'm going to try and work out what inspired 13's costume. So, let's start with the largest part of the costume, which is a long coat. Now the previous incarnation of the Doctor famed for wearing a long coat is the 10th Doctor, played by David Tennant from 2005 to 2010 with a more recent appearance in the 2013 50th anniversary special. Now a long coat is often used to symbolise mystery, but with the light colours and nature of the rest of the costume I would say the coat is mysterious, but not gloomy or scary mysterious, if that makes any sense at all. The coat could also symbolise the act of being a hero, with an almost superhero cape-like appearance when the inevitable running sequences take place. This style was referenced with the 10th Doctor's era, and even in casting, as Tennant asked for a long coat from the get-go. The head writer and showrunner at the time, Russell T. Davis, accepted Tennant's request but said that it had to be worn like a coat, so taken off relatively often when indoors. I wonder if new showrunner Chris Chibnall will have the same views, or will the coat remain on throughout the episodes? Staying with the coat, the colour scheme of the majority of the coat being a cream or white colour, is reminiscent of Peter Davison's 5th Doctor cricket themed costume, and Sylvester McCoy's 7th Doctor costume with a jacket of similar colour. Some may have also noticed the coat features a colourful lining, now the striped colours could be a reference to one of the most famous elements of the Doctor's many costumes, that being Tom Baker's 4th Doctor long rainbow scarf, once again a reference to the more joyous and eccentric Doctors of the past. This use of vivid and bright colours is a contrast from the current Doctor played by Peter Capaldi, who wore reasonably dark clothing to match his more dark and serious approach to the character. The use of bright colours for the 13th Doctor, I can assume this means that the 13th Doctor will be more warm and friendly to other people than the 12th Doctor was at the beginning. Moving on now, the braces featured in the costume, the braces or suspenders, are coloured a bright yellow and are reminiscent of previous Doctor's costumes. Most notably the 11th Doctor played by Matt Smith from 2010 to 2013, who wore a variety of braces with different colours often being either red or blue. The second Doctor played by Patrick Troughton also wore braces on numerous occasions. Now the braces here are attached to some rather high blue trousers. The high trousers style was common with the second Doctor, providing an almost clown-like appearance. The 11th Doctor also had a similar style with trousers that were slightly too short, as well as choice of footwear being a type of walking boot. Now the walking boots are also featured as part of the 13th Doctor's costume, symbolising a sense of practicality and adventure. Other elements of the costume include the appearance of a colourful striped pattern on the centre of the shirt, most likely a reference to the 4th Doctor's scarf again. This matches the lining on the 13th Doctor's coat. Another feature includes the appearance of earrings, with no previous Doctor has ever worn, and the costume also features a pair of thick striped blue socks, which could pose a reference to the TARDIS and its blue painted appearance. Now the 13th Doctor's costume does take elements from the past as well as introducing new ones with a colourful and eccentric appearance. It is definitely a very Doctory costume. This blend of old and new is also featured within something else in the photo, the TARDIS. Yes, the famous time travelling bigger on the inside police box has gotten a redesign. Well at least the exterior has got a redesign, we can only wonder what the interior looks like. Anyway, the new TARDIS exterior possesses many features from the past as well as some strange new ones. So let's begin with the colour. The TARDIS has apparently switched from the brighter blue of the 11th and 12th Doctor TARDIS to a darker and more muted shade in a more distressed style. This style of paintwork is much closer to that used for the TARDIS previously flown by Christopher Eccleston's 9th Doctor and David Tent's 10th Doctor, which appeared from 2005 until 2010, and then strangely made a cameo in the video announcing Whitaker's casting as the new Doctor earlier this year. Another element of the TARDIS that has changed is the St. John Ambulance logo, which used to be displayed on the right hand door, and it's been removed. Now this logo hasn't always been present, in fact over Doctor Who's 54 year history, most TARDIS designs have eschewed it. However, it was part of the very first TARDIS piloted by William Hartnell's first Doctor, and while it was dropped after 1966, departing showrunner Stephen Moffat brought it back in 2010 
the TARDIS redesign, but it seems once again the logo has been removed. Also in a big change, the TARDIS's iconic door sign, the one that says free for use of public and instructs the user to pull the door open despite the fact the doctor always pushes, has been inverted in this new design, with white lettering on a black background as opposed to the black letter on white background style most fans will be used to. Now this isn't a complete first, a darker sign in this style was used in the series between 1969 and 1976, and sporadically after that until 1980. A dark blue version was used in the 1996 Doctor Who movie as well. This change slightly ties in with the style of the main police box sign on the top of the TARDIS, which has white letters on a black background as usual, though with a slight change in font. While we're looking at it, it's probably worth mentioning that the new sign also switches around the handles used to pull out the police box phone enclosed behind the panel. Before it was on the right, and now it's on the left, another unusual style for the TARDIS, though this format has been used on at least one occasion in the 1996 Doctor Who movie, but to be honest though, I find it really odd. On the subject of handles, and no not that side man from Time of the Doctor as much as I love him, a minor change worth noticing, the right hand door handle has moved on this new exterior slipping below the Yale lock and out of line with the smaller panel handle. From what I can see, the door handles also have a less rounded and more square appearance. Now you may also note the windows have lost their blacked out T-shaped present on the 11th Doctor and 12th Doctor's tireless exterior, and have been replaced with clear windows still with the signature grid separating the panes. The lighting coming from the windows is an orange colour, which is very similar to the War Doctor's TARDIS. Other random changes include a more rounded lamp, which is slightly tweaked from what we are used to. Other strange tweaks include a range of grooves on the pillars or posts by the doors, and space between the two bottom panels and the base of the box is larger, indicating a potential increase in the height of the TARDIS exterior. The overall style of the exterior takes heavy inspiration from the style of the classic TARDIS, potentially the Doctor will be inspired after the events of Twice Upon a Time, featuring a classic style TARDIS to change the design to represent the past. So overall, both the TARDIS exterior and the 13th Doctor's costume both feature a blend of classic and new styles that represent the character and the show's history, while looking forward to the future. I'm personally really happy with the majority of the changes. The costume is great, the TARDIS is great. Well, apart from those strange grooves and the fact that the handles have moved around a bit, but other than that, it's just me nitpicking. Now looking into the future, I am going to be making plenty more videos regarding the lead up to Series 11 after Twice Upon a Time, the 2017 Christmas special. But for now, if you like this video, please leave it a like. What's your opinion on the new costume in TARDIS? Leave it in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos made by myself all about Doctor Who, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.